guys, welcome back to my... <sighs> Did my voice just break there? For today's video, I'm not necessarily gonna be doing a full face of Makeup Revolution or a first impressions or anything. Well, it's kind of a first impressions, but I recently went onto the Revolution website. I just picked up most of their brand new products to test and try, so that's what this video is. I just have setting powders, concealers, foundation, and just a few wee bits and bobs and eyeshadow palettes and everything. I'll also be mixing in a few of my other makeup as well. So yeah, and this is also the makeup look that I came up with today. I'm absolutely loving it. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep in motion. Okay, <laughs> I really hope my camera is okay. I can't really tell for now, but it seems to look okay. But I literally just sent my camera flying the whole way across my room and my monitor was sitting up. And I just thought that my career was just over. <laughs> Primer first of all, we're going to prime today. We have the I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whip Primer and this is a pore blurring primer and then we have a Banana Split Radiance Primer. I'm so excited to try these. I'm just going to focus this just in my T-zone. I've mentioned this before on my channel but I don't tend to like pore blurring primers because I just find them that, that they're very... Because they're obviously dimethicone based and silicone based, whatever, I just find that they're very slippery and slidey on the skin. But it's definitely like the Pore Professional from Benefit or the Smashbox Photo Finish. It definitely gives that appearance. It definitely blurs and it definitely has that feel to it. But obviously more so towards the Benefit Pore Professional because of the colour of it and everything. Whereas the Smashbox one I think is clear. But... It actually has blurred out my pores. I don't actually tend to... But it actually doesn't look too bad, actually. Next up we have the Banana Split Primer and this is the Radiance Primer. Whenever you get this, or if you get this, open it like this. Please, for the love of Christ, because this is twice now I've opened it and it is so liquidy that it goes everywhere. Like, it's all over my finger and everything. Um... So yeah, it just, I wonder whether I'll be able to show you how liquid it actually is. Bye! I just made a fool out of myself. What the hell? Maybe do you think it's because whenever I'm actually opening it like this, I'm squeezing it at the same time? But seriously, like, look at the mess I've made and I've only opened this twice. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious right now? And the smell of this primer. Oh, I have to say, I'm not a fan of bananas, banana flavoured things. But I love banana scented products. So I next up have the new Conceal and Hydrate Foundation from Makeup Revolution. They have now came out with a hydrating more dewy finish for those who have dry skin. Yeah, dry skin! <laughs> I got the shade F5 and this claims to be a medium to full coverage with hyaluronic acid, which is absolutely fantastic as well. So this one does come with a pump, which I don't mind a pump, obviously. Most foundations do come with one, but I just like the doe foot apple care. I just, that, 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 that's, that's just me. Ooh, I think this is going to be such a good shade for me. We're not going to look like cheese today. <laughs> not bad. The first thing I'm noticing is I don't actually know if it's as thick as the Conceal and Define foundation. Like the formula is only a wee bit thinner. See so applying foundation around nose piercing so it's a nasty pain in the ass. Yeah, I, I already know for a fact that I'm not going to like this foundation. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's too... Yeah, it's too radiant for me. Obviously, I'm going to set it, and any time I do use it, I'm going to set it. But, yeah, it's just too dewy for me. It's too much of a radiance foundation. It's kind of like a serum to me. If you're still wanting to know how it compares to the Conceal and Define foundation, there is a YouTuber I watched called Emily, Emily Rose, and she had done a video whenever this foundation first came out, and she actually done a full dedicated video to this foundation and the Conceal and Define foundation. She actually done a comparison test, an aware test. 
just to actually see what the differences was and see how it compared to each other. So if you want to actually go and see that foundation and check out Emily's channel, I'll link it down below. So far I'm not loving it but I'm not hating it. I definitely do prefer the Conceal and Define one. So I do have the two concealers to match the foundation, the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer also with Hyaluronic Acid and these are also medium to full coverage. I have two shades here, I have C0.5 and I have C1. But I also have this concealer that I was talking about in my haul video the other day and this is the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer um, also from Makeup Revolution and this is in the shade C0.1 I think maybe I should have tried both of them I really want to try this one but whenever I actually swatch this on my haul video this stuff was thick this was thick as shit <laughs> excuse my language because this is the concealer that goes with the foundation this is why I'm wanting to use it that's a lot of concealer, but I think we're going to need it today because that coverage and that foundation wasn't the best. And then I'm going to try this concealer on this side. I'm going to blend out first of all. Just a tiny bit, just to kind of spread it. Oh my god! That is honestly like a pancake mix. Oh, that is so sticky. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do, the, do this side for the crack. Just right in there. Oh my god. My camera just cut off on me. But yeah, I think I did put a wee bit too much on this eye. So I would say literally the tiniest wee bit will do your under eyes and then just press it in with the, your fingers just to get a wee bit warmed up first and then just spread out and then go in and blend out with the beauty sponge. But oh my word. That is full coverage. This concealer was actually okay. It was nothing special to be honest, but, whoa. <laughs> this is the Matte Base Powder P1, and that's a, that's a big powder I have to say. I'm not too sure how this is going to look if I set my under eyes with this because it's definitely darker than my under eyes. That could be an issue. I might set the rest of my face with this, but the one I usually use is the Revolution Beckham Blot. Or the other wee one I use, although I don't even know where it is at the minute. But yeah, I'm actually going to freak out and use this to set my under eyes because there is a bit of a difference in colour. <laughs> and now I'm so excited. I am so excited to try these. I'm going to be using these new iHeart Revolution baking powders and these are scented baking powders. So I got coconut because... The clue might be in the colours and the scents of them, so obviously coconut is going to be a light powder and the banana scented powder is also going to be like a banana toned powder, so it's going to be more yellow. So as you can see, the banana powder has definitely got more of like a yellow undertone than the coconut one, whereas the coconut one is definitely just like a translucent powder, so it is more suited to match my skin tone to back with. Whereas I'm not too sure what this is going to like, but I think I might actually try this on this side and the coconut one on this side just to actually see what they actually both look like and see if there's like a comparison between the two um and i just want to actually see the color difference and everything i'm going to use the coconut on this side so i'm just going to quickly just dust this off oh christ on a stick Oh, bless my cotton socks. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm going to give my face just a wee spritz just to soak up any of that excess powder that might be lying on top of the skin. Makeup Revolution has came out with a Hydrate and Fix Set and Spray. But this is a long wear oil control and it has also hyaluronic acid in it. My under eyes are starting to slightly look a wee bit better. But I think once we have our bronzer and highlighter and everything on, everything will look okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So I'm just going to go with this wee mini HOA highlight in the shade Rose Quartz. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. Just going to use this wee fan brush from Spectrum. So today I hit 120,000 subscribers. Boom! <laughs> go me! I'm just going to go with this wee Freedom Pro Glow blush here. Oop. I think I need to throw this straight in the bin, like, now. I do not understand that blush. Like, it's actually quite nice. It's not too bad, but as you can see, it's got, like, a peachy colour running through it, and then it's got, like, a pink colour run through it, but then it also has, like, these brown bits. Like, as if you want to bronze or contour with it. I just don't understand how this can be a blush. Um... Uh... 
I'm gonna throw that in the bin. I just no. So now I'm just gonna go and bronze with this big massive Makeup Revolution Mega Bronze in the shade 01 Cool. Is it that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm now just gonna start on the eyes and I'm going to be using the new Alexa Stone palette. Yeah, I'm gonna do something quite wearable today, so Well, yeah, we'll see where we go with wearable um, and then the next trail with this palette is going to be really bright and big and bold and colourful. So, just get my pancake out of the way. I'm just going to take this shade down here at the bottom and I'm just going to apply that just into the crease. Yeah, that's a really nice shade. So I'm just going to grab a clean brush and I'm just going to give that another wee dust over just in my crease. I'm just going to blend that up into my upper crease and brow bone. I'm also just going to bring it out slightly because I think I'm going to do a wing today as well. I'm going to go in with one of the grey shades so I'm not too sure what one to use. I think I'll go with this one. Which So this shade here. I'm just going to take this on a Sigma Precision Firm Blender brush. Make sure I just get this directly in that crease. I'm just going to map out first. I'm just trying to create something just like as wearable as possible today. And then for my next video using this palette, this is that's whenever I'll venture out into. I dipped into the blue, I will venture right into the colourful shades. Do you mind if I eat my breakfast while I do this? Not that I was giving you a choice there. <laughs> so I'm just going to be pressing this shadow just around that inner crease. Just creating that shape. Going on with that first brush that we use. I'm just going to lightly blend that out. And this is just going to merge these two shades together. So I'm now just going to go back into that shade again and back into that blending brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to repeat the process. Just placing that shadow just in my crease. And I'm also going to now start by packing it just in the outer corner just lightly though because I'm not wanting to make it too heavy or too pigmented because I'm just wanting to make this just a little bit more wearable back into that first brush again and then again just blending that shade together and now whenever I come to the outer corner instead of blending like this I'm going to blend by using the side of the brush with pattern motions I'm just going to go with a flat brush now, I'm just going to take that more of that grey shade and I'm just going to pack that just on that outer corner because I kind of find that with that blender brush it doesn't seem to be sticking too well, I just seem to be blending it away to nothing whereas I'm wanting something to be at least, to at least stick there. I'm also just bringing that up into that crease as well. Oh, I love this, you know. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to pat at that. So that's how we're looking so far. I'm just going to give it all just when we final blend. I think I'm going to create a wing today, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner.
for lashes I'm going to be using these color versus skin lashes in the style the cute one so that's just what they look like there this wee one's just glued up at the minute but I have one on so you can actually see what it looks like I did wear these yesterday in the makeup revolution haul that I did and they're actually quite nice I had to cut them quite a bit so they were quite long but they're still quite nice lips this is MAC strip down lip liner then for lips, I'm just going to be using this wee palette that I have. I also got this on the Makeup Revolution website, although I did get this, I want to say years ago, but I'm too embarrassed, but it was literally years ago. <laughs> it's just a pile of like nude lipstick shades. I would say if you're a makeup if you're a makeup artist this would have came in really handy. I'm not too sure whether they still do this on the website or not but I do apologise if they don't but you can go on and see if they do so I'm just going to be using one of these today so these are matte shades and then these are shinier so they're more like glosses as you can see. So I'm thinking maybe this shade here So next up, I'm just going to go back into this palette again and I'm going to finish off the lower lash line. Do this shade that we use for our transition. I'm just going to run that just along the lower lash line. I honestly do think that cool tone eyeshadows do not get enough credit. Cool tone eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful, especially greys. Love it. Okay guys, so that completes this makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed. I absolutely love my makeup today. I think it's absolutely beautiful. That was one thing I was saying at the end of the video there. I just think that cool tone eyeshadows are so underrated because they are so complimenting. And talking about all the products that I used, I wasn't disappointed with any product apart from the foundation. I definitely do prefer the conceal and, I was going to say the conceal and hydrate, the conceal and define foundation. As I was saying, I do have a dry to normal skin, but it's just my personal preference that I prefer a matte finish. So therefore, I will gravitate towards a matte finish foundation. You can let me know what you Use thought of the foundation have you tried it did you like it do you like it or prefer it more than the conceal and define did you notice any differences to what I noticed also don't forget to check out Emily's channel down below where she did do a comparison on each side of the face with the conceal and hydrate and the conceal and define so do make sure to check out Emily's channel because she really does deserve it and yeah absolutely everything else is absolutely perfect you guys so so much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter they'll all be linked listed down below in the description box and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video again <laughs> and I hope to see you all in my next one. Oh, and another thing my hair is really big and crazy at the minute and curled but one thing I always always seem to get asked and I've been meaning to mention this in a video and I I always am still getting comments about how I curl my hair, what I curl my hair with, what I use and can I do a tutorial on it and I already have a tutorial on how I curl my hair. There's only one way I do it so there's only one video that I can possibly do to do that and I have already done it so I will link that also down below if you want to go and check that out on how I curl my short hair. So yeah, just to let you know that if I see another comment I'm going to squeal. <laughs> No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all on my next one.